Greetings YouTubers, this is Rick the Tech Enthusiast here with an update to my Lesson 20 Sound Sensor Module. On my previous lesson, I talked about the Sound Sensor Module provided by the Elegoo Kit. And then I decided to go back to the Elegoo's website since I haven't been there in a while and check to see if they had any updates. So if you go to the Elegoo's website, go to the download page, and then I'll scroll down to the Elgo Uno R3 Most Complete Starter Kit. Select that. And then go to Save. I'll notice it's the new Uno version 1 2018. Looks like November 22nd. That's a much more recent version than the one I'm going from, which is 2017. If I cancel this, and then go to the new Lesson 20 Sound Sensor Module. For the most part, it looks the same as the 2017 version. You scroll through, the schematic is the same. The wiring diagram looks very similar. Except for now on page 144, it looks like they took out some information and let you know that you need to adjust the screw counterclockwise on the potentiometer just until the LED2 goes out. Sure enough, there's the photo again. And now, this time, they have a new sketch that we can look at. And instead of using the serial monitor, they're using the serial plotter. And it creates this really neat graph. Okay, this time, when you open up the new sound sensor example, there's only the one and not the analog and digital version like it was in my previous 2017 Elgu tutorial kit. Anyway, it goes on to, with a uh, little comment here showing uh, how to adjust the uh, potentiometer for sensitivity, just like we talked about before. And then it looks like it has some... Uh, it defines both the analog and digital pin at the same time and some of the different uh, integer values for the analog value and digital value and then it defines the built-in LED 13. The void setup has a serial begin statement and defines the pin modes for the sensor digital pin and the LED 13. The void loop in this case has an analog read from the sensor analog pin to the analog value, and then a digital read from the di sensor digital pin to the digital value. And then it just sends out the serial print to, of the analog value to the serial monitor. Then it begins the digital value of high and low, depending on what the digital value is to turn on or off the LED. And then it has a small delay um, of 50 milliseconds because they didn't want to overwhelm the serial interface, which that's, that's interesting. So if we go ahead and run this sketch, upload it. We open up this, the serial monitor. We would normally get this. However, this time they're recommending that we do the serial plotter, which I have not used before. Let's go ahead and refresh this here. Let me go ahead and upload that one more time. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Upload again. Tools. Serial plotter. Serial plotter. There we go. Now we've got this nice little waveform that ends up occurring um, as time goes along. And then if I snap my fingers or I clap, you can see the waveform changes. Fascinating. I really like this. It's a great way of uh, visually seeing the changes uh, from the microphone. Anyhow, I thought that'd be a useful update and it'd be interesting to see. So if you haven't downloaded the latest version of the Elegoo Arduino Uno tutorials, I would say now's a good time to check it out. All right, thanks a lot. 
And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.